welcome to the 29th episode of Ship of the Week. This week, we'll briefly look at the Duke of Edinburgh-class Royal Navy armored cruiser, HMS Black Prince. Named for Edward of Woodstock, a 14th century prince and English military leader in the Hundred Years' War, the ship was laid down in the summer of 1903 at the Thames Ironworks and Shipbuilding Company and launched in November of the following year under the new head of naval construction, Sir Philip Watts. Watts' tenure in that position would lead to many other notable development programs destined to completely revolutionize naval architecture and strategy. The 505-foot cruiser displaced 12,500 tons, and her twin triple expansion machinery developed a top speed of roughly 23 knots intended to allow her to outdistance heavier battleships. Her six main guns, two facing fore and aft and two along each flank, bore a 9.2-inch diameter, with the four placed port and starboard sitting relatively low, allowing considerable seas to come over the main deck in rough weather, unfortunately. The first years of the new ship's career were uneventful, but with war approaching, she found herself assigned to the Mediterranean fleet under Rear Admiral Ernest Trubridge in 1914. The Imperial German Navy's Mediterranean Division, the heavy cruiser Goben on the left and light cruiser Breslau on the right, fled Croatia where they were undergoing repairs in late July of 1914. In an attempt to prevent the two ships from escaping west past Gibraltar and conducting potentially devastating raids in the Atlantic, First Sea Lord Winston Churchill ordered Tribridge's fleet, including Black Prince, to follow them at a distance with out actually engaging, until hostilities began, which occurred in early August, at which point the German division turned about and steamed at speed east for Germany's new Ottoman allies, outpacing the British fleet and successfully arriving at Constantinople where their German flags were lowered and Ottoman ones run up. Black Prince spent some time commerce raiding with her sister Duke of Edinburgh in the Red Sea until she was eventually reassigned to the Grand Fleet's first cruiser squadron under Rear Admiral Robert Arbuthnot in December, placing her squarely in the assembly of vessels to take part in one of the most momentous naval actions in history. On the night of May 31st into the early hours of June 1st, 1916, in the waters between Denmark and Norway, 250 ships of the German High Seas and Royal Navy Grand Fleets encountered each other. The vast big gun engagement took place in multiple stages, but shortly after midnight, Black Prince, out of direct contact with her fleetmates, was attempting to locate her battle line. Finding a battle line and falling in, it was shortly thereafter discovered by both Black Prince and the ships around her that it was indeed not the British line at all. Black Prince had very little time to react before she found herself pinned down by heavy guns from every direction. The precise nature of her final moments remains unclear, but within minutes, she had exploded and gone down amid a cacophony of shell fire. The only light sources across the area of battle, muzzle flashes and burning ships all 857 officers and men went down with Black Prince. Neither navy truly won the Battle of Jutland, but neither navy truly lost it either. The scale of the destruction, however, was immense. 25 ships and nearly 10,000 men lay at the bottom of the North Sea. <laughs> 